Welcome to Bernice McNaughton High School Virtual Graduation Ceremony of 2021. We have prepared for you a video representing the ceremony with many of the regular graduation events such as greetings from the dignitaries, the performance of the grad song, Estate of My Life, by the members of the grad class, the valedictorian speech by Ethan Foster, medal presentation by Ms. Lockwood and Mr. and Mr. McDonald, and the presentation of diplomas. Finally, a little emotional piece, which consists a little collage of videos of farewell greetings from students and parents and a few teachers. Wish you the best of luck. Have great graduation. Congratulations to the class of 2021. The world has changed so much because of COVID-19. And as a result, your high school experience was very different and presented some unique challenges. But you also had a unique opportunity to work independently become self-sufficient and develop a personal drive to succeed. As a result, I hope you're leaving high school with a renewed outlook on what you can accomplish and a feeling that anything is possible if you work hard enough for it. That internal motivation is so valuable as you start this next phase of your life. It is key to any successful career and in life in general. You can be proud of everything you've accomplished so far. This is an exciting time and in many ways, we are making history in New Brunswick. We are reinventing our province, and there are opportunities like never before available for our young people. I wish each of you the very best as you strive to reach your full potential, preferably right here at home. Congratulations and happy graduation. Hello Anglophone East School District Grads of 2021. I'm Ann Bernard Bourgeois. And I'm Pamela Wilson, and we are the Directors of Schools for the Anglophone East School District. It is our pleasure and honor today to bring you greetings on behalf of the district as you celebrate the significant achievement of graduation. We know the last few years of your school experience have been challenging in many ways. You have inspired us all with your resilience, your positive attitude, and creativity, especially this year as you've worked towards graduation. We are so proud of you for reaching this milestone today, and we hope that you're proud of yourselves for this extraordinary accomplishment. We trust that your 13 years of formal education have prepared you for an amazing future and whatever dreams you decide to pursue. As you take the next steps out into the world, we hope that your experiences here as part of the Anglophone School District will provide you with the confidence, the ability, and the skills to continue the success that you have worked so hard to achieve today. Thank you for being part of our district, and thank you for your commitment to your education and future success. It takes perseverance, dedication, and strength to reach the milestone of high school graduation. We thank the teachers, the administrators, bus drivers, all school staff, who have supported you along the way, who are proud of you and all that you have accomplished. On behalf of the Anglophone East School District, we congratulate you, the grads of 2021. Best wishes for the future. Day of my life, my life. 
gonna be, this is gonna be the best day of my life. Everything is looking up, everybody up now, woo, woo, woo. This is gonna be the best day of my life. My life. So you're graduating during a global pandemic, and I hope you found ways to celebrate with your friends and family in a safe and fun way. We know it's been hard not to have this usual big celebration. You've put a lot of hard work to get to this point. Exams, presentations, extracurricular activities, volunteer and group projects. Well, certainly it's been hard. On top of that, you put hours of studying, part-time jobs, personal responsibilities, and planning for the future. The pressure and stress you felt this year, I can't even imagine how hard it was. But, you know, I must say, from all of us here at BMHS and your community, we still want to recognize you for your, all your achievements, regardless how big and small they felt this year. Over the last 18 months, you've had, had to demonstrate flexibility, resilience, and maturity. We are very proud on the way you handled this situation and what you were able to accomplish even in the restrictions in place. The bravery, leadership, and courage you bring to this difficult time is a source of pride and hope. You deserve a celebration, and there is a lot of ways to do that. We decided to do this humble graduation celebration. It is not the usual celebration, but it is an opportunity to get together with your friends and family, with your cap and gown, and just celebrate this moment. Even though the celebration is humble, your accomplishments are not. The BMHS staff will remember this grad class forever. Maybe not your faces due to the mask, but certainly your spirit and courage. We know that your future will be interesting and full of surprises. And we also know that you're ready for it. Here are a few words of advice. You will make mistakes. You will face adversity. But don't give in. It's just another experience, as you had this year. Stay strong, grads of 2021, as you showed us all year. And we wish you the best in all your future experience. And don't forget, have fun. We'll miss you, grads of 2021. Hello Highlanders, more specifically the class of 2021. My name is Ethan Foster and I have been put in charge of giving you all a farewell address that will hopefully resonate with you long after you have left this school. As I'm sure you have already noticed, this valedictorian speech isn't being delivered in the most traditional sense, but hopefully being on the snooze has taught me a bit about speaking in front of a camera. Something you may not have known that is actually pretty interesting is that our graduating year signals a milestone in the history of BMHS. Most of us graduating this year were born in 2003, which just so happens to be the first year McNaughton graduated students as a high school. A very exciting chapter for the history of our school. As the sun has become brighter and the days have become warmer, it has given me lots of time to reflect on the past 13 years of schooling, and most particularly this past year. Senior year, our senior year, we have learned a lot this year. The administration team taught us how important it is to stay six feet apart from everyone else. By the way, for those of you who are still having trouble visualizing what six feet is, just imagine two Gabe Lamanas stacked on top of each other. Mrs. Robertson taught us what a derivative is, and Mrs. Levine taught us how we ought to be concise while writing. Speaking of which, hopefully this speech will be concise enough. I don't need any of you to double tap on the screen to make the video automatically skip 10 seconds. Although everything we have learned in the classroom is important, I will always be a firm believer in the idea that it is the stuff outside the classroom that is even more important. The things that make our zest for life sharper, our courage stronger, and our love for those around us bigger. This year, something that we have all learned is the importance of adversity and how at the end of the journey, it will make you a stronger and happier person. Adversity is an important part of the human experience as it helps you enjoy the good days even more. Anne Bradstreet, a celebrated English poet, said this, If we had no winter, the spring would not be so pleasant. 
If we did not sometimes taste of diversity, prosperity would not be so welcome. If we look past on the year, that is shown in many different ways. Obviously, we didn't have a whole lot of events, but when we did, it felt fantastic. Remember the beaver tails truck at the drive-in? I watched some of you guys eat an unholy amount of beaver tails. Don't think I forgot. How about those heat wave days we had? We've had many snow days in our school career, but that was definitely a first. It was so hot in the school, I thought that Travis Scott dropped a new album. One thing that happened this year that really stood out to me was when the school went into lockdown for the whole day. It felt like a bit of a throwback to quarantine. At least this time, however, we were able to bond and chat with our classmates. The point is, all the sour moments which have happened make the sweet ones even sweeter, both literally and metaphorically in the case of the beaver tails. Anne Bradstreet knew what she was talking about with that quote, as it sums up what life is all about. The most special and rewarding aspect of facing adversity is how it makes you stronger as a person. Something that is important to keep in mind is that there is no chapter in your life that goes to waste. Everything that we go through, whether it be good or bad, all shapes us into the people that we become. There seems to be a bigger drive in your hearts and a brighter spark in your eyes since March 2020. You stand up for yourselves more and you stand up for others more. I could not be more proud. There is some truth to the old adage, hard times make strong people, good times make weak people. This is an example of that which I really enjoy. In the 1980 Winter Olympics, the Soviet Union were the powerhouse favorites to win the gold medal in the men's hockey tournament. When they met Team USA in the semifinals, everyone suspected the Soviets would roll through the Americans' team of college students. But with a minute remaining in the game and the Americans up by one goal, the Soviet coach found himself in a position he had never been in before. Any hockey fan knows the obvious play here, which is to pull the goalie and add another player on the ice. He didn't pull their goalie, however, resulting in a major upset pulled off by Team USA. Hockey fans and analysis alike are still scratching their heads to this day wondering, why didn't the Soviet coach pull their goalie? When you really think about it though, there is a clear answer. He didn't know what to do. The Soviets had spent so much time winning, they didn't know what to do when things went south. I have full confidence that not one of us 193 graduates will have the freezing in the face of adversity reaction the Soviet coach had. Why? Because in a way, we did lose. This certainly wasn't the year we thought we were going to get. And although at first glance that may seem like a bad thing, it really isn't, as it has given us all the tools we need, such as endurance, perseverance, and humility, to succeed in the future. We were upset, but not angry. We were let down, but not driven to despair. We were beaten, but we were not broken. As we spread our wings and fly off into the future, we are all going to do some amazing things, and I want you all to try and remember these lyrics from Mumford and Sons' song, After the Storm. There will come a time you'll see with no more tears, and love will not break your heart but dismiss your fears. Get over your hill and see what you'll find there, with grace in your heart and flowers in your hair. The road ahead of us is filled with joy and happiness that none of us can imagine until we experience it. So grab your diploma, throw your cap in the air, put your mask on, and go out there and take it. The Governor General's Medal, established in 1873, recognizes students who have achieved the highest academic average. On behalf of the Governor General of Canada, I am pleased to present the Academic Medal to Courtney Page Wagner. Congratulations, Courtney. This is a very prestigious award. It is my honor to present the Burks Medallion, an award for leadership. This medallion is uh, provided by Henry Burks and Sons Limited for the student of the graduating class who has shown leadership in student affairs throughout high school. This award is going to Grace Lafferty. Congratulations, Grace, and thank you for your leadership.
Leslie Ruth Dealey. Good afternoon. We welcome the families of our graduates to honor their accomplishments on this very special day. Their names will be called to the stage, and at that time, please feel free to take some photos. At this point, I would like to invite Claire Patricia Armstrong to the stage. Claire has received an entrance scholarship from Mount Allison University.
Jeremy, Michael, Joseph, Casey. <laughs> Jeremy has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Madison Taylor Crosby. <laughs> Madison has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate and the Medici Blue Cross Leon R. Furlong Academic Scholarship. Makaya Daryl Gagnon. <laughs> Makaya has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Marie Hicks. <laughs> Allie has been awarded a French Second Language Certificate. Elizabeth Lipton Levison. <laughs> Hannah has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Hannah has also been awarded the City of Moncton French Immersion Award, a Friends of the Highland Adversary, the Becca Told Me To Outstanding Youth Volunteer Award, the Ron Mike Memorial Scholarship, and has received an entrance scholarship from the University of New Moncton. Madison Lori McNutt. <laughs> Madison has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. <laughs> Mackenzie. Faith Murray. Good afternoon. We welcome the families of our graduates to honor their accomplishments on this very special day. Their names will be called to the stage, and at that time, please feel free to take some photos. At this point, I would like to invite Yun Sa Bae to the stage. Shakira Don Bassman.
win these bouts. Emma has been awarded a French Second Language Certificate. Zoe Alexandria Ward. <laughs> Zoe has been awarded the BMHS Commitment to Learning Award. Seo Kim.
Isaac, Malcolm, Arthur, McDonald. Good afternoon. We welcome the families of our graduates to honor their accomplishments on this very special day. Their names will be called to the stage, and at that time, please feel free to take some photos. At this point, I would like to call Karen Mia Alderson. Karen has been awarded a Best World School Staff Bursary and a Friends of the Highlanders Bursary. Courtney Mary Elizabeth Cameron. Woo! Courtney is this year's PMHS Female Athlete of the Year and has been awarded the Taylor Cup and Medal. Courtney has also been awarded the French Immersion Certificate and has received an entrance scholarship from St. Francis Xavier University. Nam Do. Nam has received an entrance scholarship from the, uni from the University of New Brunswick. Claire Marie Hughes. Grace Aaron Don Lafferty. <laughs> Recipient of one of our more prestigious awards, the Burks Medal. This medallion is provided by Henry Burks and Sons Limited for the student of the graduating class who has shown leadership in school in student affairs throughout high school. Grace is also the recipient of a BMHS medallion for academic excellence. Grace is the recipient of a BMHS Student Distinction Award. Grace has been awarded a French Emergency Certificate, the Irving Consumer Products Majesta Scholarship, and has received an entrance scholarship from Queen University. <laughs>
Sarah Kimberly Moet. Sarah has been awarded the Highlander of the Year Award. Sarah has also been awarded a French Immersion Certificate, the Bernice McNaughton High School Student Government Bursary, and has received an entrance scholarship from St. Francis Xavier University. Courtney Page Wagner. <laughs> Courtney is the recipient of our other prestigious award, the Governor's General Medal. <laughs> Established in 1873, it recognizes students who have achieved the highest academic average. On behalf of the Governor General of Canada, <laughs> we, are, we are pleased to present the academic medal to Courtney Wagner. Courtney has also been awarded a BMHS Medallion for Academic Excellence, has been awarded the BMHS Student Volunteer of the Year Award, a French Immersion Certificate, the Ron Smythe Opportunity Scholarship, and has received an entrance scholarship to Mount Allison University. Good afternoon. We welcome the families of our graduates to honor their accomplishments on this very special day. What a great day for graduation. Their names will be called to the stage, and at that time, please feel free to take some photos. So without further ado, Mason Hussein al Samawi. Mason has been awarded the Greater Moncton Association of Retired Teachers Bursary, the MBTA Branch 0215 Bursary, and a Besborough School Staff Bursary. <laughs> Laura Maria Aruda de Lima. Emily Gail Arsenal. Katie Jane Brooks. <laughs> Katie has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. She has also been, also been awarded the Travis Therio Memorial Scholarship, the Greater Moncton Realtors de Grand Moncton, de, de Grand Moncton Bursary, and has received an entrance scholarship from Acadia University. Brooke 
Elizabeth Moore. Brooke has received an entrance scholarship from Dalhousie University. Zachary Stephen Owen. Sydney Dale Mitchell Smith. Nigel has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate and has been awarded a Besborough School Staff Bursary. Good afternoon. We welcome the families of our graduates to honor their accomplishments on this very special day. It's certainly a wonderful day for graduation. Their names will be called to the stage, and at that time, please feel free to take some photos. Ali Al Din Mahmoud Abdel Salam. Ashkan Amini Maj. Ashkan has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Ashkan has been, has been awarded a City of Moncton French Immersion Award and has received an entrance scholarship from the Université de Moncton. Ty Timothy Rowe. Garen Christopher Geyer Jackson.
Preston Johnston. Good afternoon. We are happy to welcome the families of our graduates to honor their accomplishments on this very special day. Please note their names will be called to the stage, and at that time, please feel free to take some photos. Lucas Alexander Chapman. <laughs> Lucas has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Christopher Duan John Feltham. I apologize, I might have said that wrong. Christopher Dwayne John? Very good. Sorry, we can go back, let's go back and do that again, just for we're gonna do this in the video. So. Do it right. Christopher Dwayne John Felton. Logan Lewis Olaf Gorman. Rankin Ty Brown. Rankin has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate and has received an entrance scholarship from the University of New Brunswick. Nathaniel Robert Dryden.
Nathaniel has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate and has received an entrance scholarship from the University of New Brunswick. Thomas James Johnson. Thomas has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate and has received an entrance scholarship from the University of New Brunswick. Hwan <laughs> Zachary Lee. Zachary has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. <laughs> Min Jun Lee. Jun has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. <laughs> Riley Andrew Lemieux. Riley has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. <laughs> Scott Alexander Judd Robinson. Scott has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Scott has also been awarded a Royal Canadian Legion Branch number no. 6 bursary and has received an entrance scholarship from Acadia University. Owen Anir Winters. <laughs> Owen has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate, the Irving Oil Dependent Scholarship, and has received an entrance scholarship to Dalhousie University. Dalhousie University. 
University. <laughs> Elijah Nicholson Ford. Eli has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Shailen has 
been awarded a French Immersion Certificate.
Jacob Daryl Campbell Dykeman Davis.
Xander James Dalton Humphrey. Alex has been awarded the Arsene O'Brien Memorial Scholarship and has received an entrance scholarship from Acadia University. Davis Covina Gordon O'Brien. <laughs> Davis is this year's BMHS Male Athlete of the Year and has been awarded the Taylor Cup and Medal. Davis has also been reward, awarded excuse me, a French Immersion Certificate and a Besborough School Staff Bursary.
accomplishments on this very special day. Their names will be called to the stage, and at that time, please feel free to take any photos. Caitlin Lindsay Clowater. Caitlin has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Good job, Katie. <laughs> Natasha Marguerite <laughs> Davidson. Jenna Elizabeth Hall. <laughs> Jenna has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate and has received an entrance scholarship to St. Mary's University. Emma Kaylee Izzard. <laughs> Emma has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Hannah has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. <laughs> Megan Alexis McCauley. Megan has received a BMHS medallion for academic excellence. She, she has also been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. <laughs> Alyssa Joy McKinnon. Alyssa has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Grace Emma Marchetti. Charles Malone. 
Johnson. Grace has also been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Good evening. We welcome the families of our graduates to honor their, accomplish their accomplishments on this very special day. Their names will be called to the stage, and at that time, please feel free to take some photos. So let us begin. Nathan Gregory Archibald. Alex Crescent Abruden. Erica Ann For Real. Erica has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Quinn Lauren McManaman. <laughs> Quinn has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate and has received an entrance scholarship from Mount Allison University. Roshan Emmanuel Melvin. <laughs> Roshan has been awarded the Menomee Blue Cross Community Leadership and Academic Scholarship. Roshan has also received an entrance scholarship from the University of New Brunswick. Anna Grace Murphy Callback. Anna has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate.
Teagan or Robinson. Teagan has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate and has received an entrance scholarship from Dalhousie University.
Tang Kao Nguyen. Good afternoon. We welcome the families of our graduates to honor their accomplishments on this very special day. Their names will be called to the stage, and at that time, please feel free to take some photos. I would like to invite Jorn Lynn Offrey to the stage. Immersion Certificate. Madeline Grace Maya. <laughs> Maddie has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Maddie has also been awarded the Abert Marvin Memorial Scholarship, the Ladies Hoop Classic Bursary, the Ron Smythe Memorial Scholarship, and has received an entrance scholarship from Dalhousie University.
Sadie Jane Patterson. Sadie has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate and has received an entrance scholarship from Dalhousie University. Kelsey Elise Ritzel. Kelsey has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Kelsey has also been awarded the Bernice McNaughton High School Staff Scholarship, the Rene Pepsi Landry Memorial Bursary, and has received an entrance scholarship from Dalhousie University. She is also a recipient of a BMHS Medallion for Academic Excellence. Danya Amar Sali. Victoria Heather Woods. Victoria has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Good afternoon. We welcome the families of our graduates to honor their accomplishments on this very special day. Our students' names will be called to the stage, and at that time, please feel free to take some photos. Firstly, I would like to ask Matea Pearl Dago. Riley Grace McKinnon.
Tuan Khan Fan. Tuan is a recipient of a BMHS medallion for, ac for academic excellence. Tuan has been awarded the Debbie Smith Memorial Scholarship and the Bella Life Pioneers Scholarship. Jimin Seo. <laughs> Jamin has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Shreya Singh. Shreya is a recipient of a BMHS medallion for academic excellence. Shreya has been awarded a French, immersion, French second language certificate and has received an entrance scholarship from the University of British Columbia. Jaden Francis Elaine Sperling. Jaden has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Elia Sky Walton. <laughs> Elia is the recipient of a BMHS Student Distinction Award and has also been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. How you Zhang. How you is the recipient of a BMHS medallion for academic excellence. He is a recipient of a BMHS distinction award. Good afternoon.
We welcome the families of our graduates to honor their accomplishments on this very special day. Students' names will be called to the stage, and at that time, please feel free to take some photos. We will begin. I'd like to call to our stage, Emilio Joshua Diaz. Amber Marie Dick. Morgan Lynn Goodwin. Morgan has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Sophia Anna Little. <laughs> Sophia has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Christina Lynn Richard. <laughs> Christina has been awarded the French Immersion Certificate. Charlotte Eva Richard. Charlotte has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Caitlin Teresa Rollings. Good job, Katie. Good you work, go, girl. girl. Nikita Wadnikov. Good job, Nikita.
afternoon. We welcome the families of our graduates to honor their accomplishments on this very special day. Their names will be called to the stage, and at that time, please feel free to take some photos. We'll begin with Harris Ali. Mason Douglas Ivan Branscombe. Mason has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate and has received an entrance scholarship from Mount Allison University. Jasmine Rebecca Hebert. Jasmine has been awarded a French Second Language Certificate.
on Tron. Olivia Sharon Benwick. <laughs> Olivia has been awarded the Emanuel Life, Life Lessons Scholarship. Hey, 
Elizabeth Leslie Lafergy. Tanner has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate and has received an entrance scholarship from Mount Allison University.
Amanjot Singh. Moses Tong. <laughs> Moses has been awarded Friends of the Highlanders Bursary and received an entrance scholarship from the University of Toronto. Khan Tron. <laughs> Khan has received an entrance scholarship from McMaster University. says, uh, no matter who you are, no matter where you go in your life, at some point you're going to need somebody to stand by you. Oh yeah, oh my darling, stand by me.
venting. <laughs> Did he just say what I think he said? <laughs> he graduated. This guy here. He didn't. That's kind of true. He failed. I'm, I'm hurt right now. <laughs> uh, my name is Noah Lafferty, grade 11 representative. I'll be here in two years. Make it out the trenches, you know, day one. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Annie Lee, my girl. Sayonara. Let's go, baby. Let's go. We did this. Yay. Good. <laughs> I made it, Mom. Let's go.
Yeah, you're there. Can't get it right in my window. <laughs> we can do it again. It doesn't matter. Me too.